Every few days I like to check the air pressure in my bicycle tires, put a lot of miles on this bike. I also take it to a trail regularly, which means I reduce my air pressure by a little bit when I go to the trail. So when I come back, I pump it back up to my normal road pressure. For that, I use this Bontrager floor pump. It's a great metal pump, comes with this combo Presta Schrader head. The beauty of it though, is this gauge turns out to be incredibly accurate. I've tested, I have a video on it. If you wanna give this a look, it is a great, great floor pump, especially for the money. It only costs about 40 bucks. That said, I commute every day to work. I would like to have a floor pump at my work just in case something would happen. You never know what you're gonna run over. So I could keep a tube there. If I had a floor pump, if something happened, I could pump it back up, but I don't wanna spend 40 bucks on something that's gonna be at work. I'm not gonna have control over it, so it's no telling what's gonna to happen to the poor thing when I'm not there. Well, I was at my local Aldi, Aldi grocery store. And if you ever shop at Aldi, you know they have this Bike Master or Bike Mate brand of bicycle products because they're a European grocery store chain. I found this. This is a Bike Mate floor pump with gauge set up very similar to this Bontrager. And it also works with both Presta and Schrader. Matter of fact, it has, see the little things you have to switch them out, but it has a gauge built into it. So very, very similar to this Bontrager. The beauty of this, it was 10 bucks. 10 bucks at Aldi. So let's get this thing opened up. We'll give it a once over, see what it looks like. It, in the bag, it seems like it's fairly well constructed. Then we'll test it and see how accurate it actually is. Before we open it up, just wanna give you a quick look at the packaging in case you are considering buying this. It is model number 94450 on the back side. Oh, well, you can see this. It's gonna be poorly lit for you, but it is some detail. I'll include a picture of this at the end of the video. Okay, so let's get this opened up. It's stapled on there. Get our bike pump out of the plastic. Let's see if I can get it out without dropping the instructions. Hey, okay, pulled it off. Okay, first and foremost, the instructions, probably in multiple languages. I'll look at those in just a second, but before I do, let's look at this pump. So we have our two valve types here. This camera, or this light, excuse me, a little better. Two valve types, looks like that's integrated. It just slides out so you can get to your valves. It has a retainer for the head. Oh, wow, check it out. It's a dually. So I guess they can both go on there at the same time. Okay, it has some little rubber inserts on this floor plate, and there is the gauge. Well, you can see that, but that gauge, let's see if I can zoom in on that. Very, oh, upside down, very visible. Very, very visible. So this thing sits just like the Bontrager, which it's just a little bit shorter. It's like it's about four inches or so shorter than the Bontrager. Not quite as wide on the base, but it does have these soft texture grip areas on the pump. Not bad, it's metal. It's the Bike Mate branding. So it weighs a little bit less than the Bontrager. Actually, little, little it's like it's about half of the weight of the Bontrager. So, now this Bontrager is supposed to have some really good internals. As a matter of fact, they're supposed to be replaceable. Let me get read the instructions, get the valves on. I'll let you know if there are any quirks or idiosyncrasies in the instructions. And then we'll come back and give it a test. After reading the instructions, I noticed a couple of things. Number one, 
this actually is already set up for Schrader. So in theory, I can plug this directly onto my tires and it will work. Not sure, still want the dual head. Didn't really give any information about that in the instructions. But these valves apparently are for Schrader and Dunlop. So it will do Presta, Schrader, and Dunlop. Three different valve types where the Bontrager will do two. But to be fair, I've never heard of the Dunlop type. I don't know anything about tire pumps or valves, so that could show my ignorance there, but that's that. Now, let me see if I can give this thing just a couple of pumps here. I have to move this camera down just a bit. Try to give this a couple of pumps. Okay, it doesn't come up as smoothly. Okay, now it does. It was just that first pump, I guess, was a little gritty. You can hear that air coming out. It seems to pump almost as smooth as the Bond Traeger, but definitely Bond Traeger. It's going to be a little smoother. Let me reposition the camera, and I'll try to get this on one of the tire valves. Actually, first I'm going to check the tire pressure, and then we'll check it versus the gauge. I'm going to do this a little different than I was initially going to do it. I was having some trouble getting this filmed without knocking everything over. So let me just tell you, I've fumbled with this about four times. I'll give you my experience with it. Now remember, this is $9.95. This is $39.95, $36.95, around $40. Okay, one pump with this is right at about 2 PSI. With this, it's about three, but this is a good three inches shorter and the circumference is larger on the Bontrager than it is on the press. Now this is steel frame, it fills well, it sits fairly sturdy. I mean, once you put your feet on there, it stays in place, it doesn't wobble on the base. Now, uh, that's the good. The bad is, well, bad depending upon how you think about it for a $10 pump. This head, this pump head, is kind of difficult to get on. You put it on this top one for the Schrader and you pull to snap. It's a very tough pull. And the problem that I'm running into is I'm letting, well at least for, the, for this video, I'm letting out large belches of air putting this onto the bike. Not a big deal in the actual function of the thing because of course you're going to be airing up your tire using this pump. You're not going to be bleeding out with it. So let me just see if I can give you an example of that. You hear that air come out? It doesn't really happen with this bond trigger. Okay, now that I have it on, it's telling me that I've got about 44 PSI. That's the other downside of this unit, is that this built-in pressure gauge is accurate below about 50 PSI. Above 50 PSI, it tends to be about 10 PSI off. Uh, no matter where it's at in the range, these tires go up to 80. I've went up to 80. And regardless of what it said, when I would take out like my Craftsman that's very accurate, it would be about 10 degrees less than what this gauge said. So keep that in mind. Again, it's only $10 versus $40. So you kind of get what you're paying for. But it does work. I mean, it pumps very well. Matter of fact, let me see if I can pump it up to, I think I'll go up to 70. Actually, I'm gonna go up to, yeah, yeah, let's go up to 80 here. Okay, I'm at 80 PSI. I can tell by feeling of these tires that that is not 80 PSI. Let me just disengage. Okay, I've got this off. Get my Craftsman tire pressure gauge. Sixty-nine psi, so roughly seventy psi. This thing thinks it's eighty. So exactly what I was saying, about ten psi off. Not that big of a deal. For me, because I'm using this for a gauge at work, plus I know my tires. I can feel of them and tell you roughly where they're at PSI-wise. 
come home, I use this about every other day. So I get good readings regularly. But if I'm at work and I just need to air something up, I'll have this and for 10 bucks, pretty happy with it. I just know I can't really trust that gauge. So if you have maybe a tire pressure gauge that you can read the pressure with, that may not be an issue and you're saving 30 bucks. So keep that in mind. That's gonna be about it for this video. I'm gonna wrap up with showing you the back of that packaging as I promised. Then I'll just kind of give a little pan around tour of this pump. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.